In today's video, I'll guide you on how you could fix please close interception before starting the game. So let's get started. So first is that you want to go into google.com in your browser. And from here, you want to search for Oblitum interception right there. And then you should see a GitHub link right here in the first one. You want to click on that to go here into the GitHub link where we can download a file. And from here, you just need to download the latest release. So click here. And then after that is that you want to click here on the dot zip code, which is this one right here. So interception dot zip, click on that. And now we should have it here in our computer. So you just simply want to locate it. So I have it right here. So I want to right click on that zip file and then just simply extract it all right there. And then once it's extracted, you should now have another folder right here. So we now have this. And from here, just need to open it up and then go into command line installer. And then once you're here, you just need to copy the path. So you want to click here on the path, right click, and then copy. Next is that you want to go into your command prompt. So go here into the search bar on your taskbar, and then type in CMD, and then just run the command prompt as an administrator. Click on run as administrator, and then you should now have your CMD like this. So the first one would be CD and then space, and then just simply paste the path that we have copied from here and press on enter. Now, the next thing is that you want to type DIR and then type or press on enter again. And then once you have this, you just simply would want to paste this command right here. So I'll just go and put this in the description or in the comment section. So you just copy it or you could just simply um, type it from here. So just type in install interception at exe and so on. Make sure that you have the right typing and then press on enter. And then you'd now be able to see that it has now executed that and all that's left is to close and then just go and restart your device. Click here on the power button and click on restart and then you should now have fixed your problem. And that's it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.